So let's say you're going to the store and someone's like, yo, I got a curse for you. And you're like, no, 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 I can't. I can't just have one curse. I've... Nope. I'm not going to have one. Nope. 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 What's better than one curse? Two curses. Dun, 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 dun. B-Sides. Hi, welcome to Pathfinder B-Sides. I am your host, Professor Phoenix. Today, we're going to go over the Dual Cursed Oracle, which is an oracle archetype for those that really love pain and pleasure, but not in the way that you're thinking. I just realized how that came out. Hey, so let's get into it. Uh, from the D20 PFSRD, here's the flavor. All oracles are cursed to some degree, but some oracles bear an even heavier burden. Though doubly afflicted with supernatural or physical hindrances, a dual-cursed oracle can manipulate fortune and gains greater insights into her mystery. That's, um... Wow, that, that dual-cursed oracle sure likes pain. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, the first thing they get is called Oracle's Curse. A dual cursed oracle must choose two curses at first level. One of these curses, Oracle's Choice, never changes its abilities as the oracle gains levels. For example, an oracle with clouded vision never gains dark vision 60 feet, blind sense, or blind sight. The other curse comes with its normal benefits. So, just to go over this really plainly, what that means is, is that one of your curses, all you ever get is the negative. You don't get the positive. So the, the lethargy curse where you're able to float eventually, if you pick that, you never get the bonuses. All you do is you, you move at five feet per round and that's what you get. Um, the other curse comes pretty standard. So like in this one right here, the clouded vision, eventually you would get. Dark vision, 60 feet, blind sense, and blind sight. You would just be stuck with the other negative. Um, next up, we've got class skills. A dual cursed oracle gains no additional class skills from her mystery. So that means neither one of your mysteries, you're, you're, you're not getting nothing special. You, No, just no. You get two curses, no bonus from the skills. That is a straight up downgrade, but... Some of you would probably disagree with me. And actually, honestly, it's probably pretty good for flavor. Because, I mean, just just because you you understand, you know, the, the flames mystery doesn't mean you should have knowledge planes, I guess. Uh, next up, we've got bonus spells. These bonus spells replace the Oracle's mystery bonus spells at these levels. You get Ill Omen at second level you get oracles burden at fourth level and you get bestow curse at sixth level so with ill omen you're going to be getting the ability to afflict the target with bad luck on the next e 20 roll the target makes it must roll twice and take the less favorable result for every five caster levels you have the target must roll twice on an additional d20 roll to a maximum of five rolls at 20th level a target who can speak and has at least one free hand and who is aware of the spell and its effects. So your you know, your game master better make that spellcraft check in private so we can negate this for his super duper awesome big bad ending guy. Can negate when reroll by spending a move action to utter a brief prayer or good luck charm to appease the spirits of ill fortune. Next up was Oracle's Burden, which lasts for one minute per level. Uh, you entreat the forces of fate to bestow your oracle's curse upon another creature. The target creature suffers all of the hindrances and none of the benefits of your oracle's curse class feature. You still suffer all effects of your oracle's curse. If you do not have the oracle's curse class feature, this spell has no effect. I mean, it's nice. You can take away some of your enemy's movement speed or possibly even have them haunted by a ghost for at least a little bit that'd, that'd be cool and then finally that other spell was bestow curse which is a permanent duration you place a curse on the subject choose one of the following a six point decrease to an ability score a minimum of one 
A four point penalty on attack rolls, saves, ability checks, and skill checks. Or each turn, the target has a 50% chance to act normally. Otherwise, it takes no action. You can also invent your own curse, but it should be no more powerful than those described above. All in all, those are some good bonus spells. I don't, I'm not really sure if it's worth it for your mystery spells, but then again, this is at least your first, second, and third level of casting that you get. So, you know, weigh your options before you go picking it. Uh, finally, we've got the revelations. A dual cursed oracle gains a new revelation at 5th level and 13th level. These are in addition to the normal revelations she receives at 3rd level, 7th level, and so on. In addition, the cursed oracle may select the following revelations in place of any mystery revelation. Misfortune. At 1st level, as an immediate action, you can force a creature within 30 feet to reroll any 1d20 roll that it has just made before the results of the roll are revealed. The creature must take the result of the reroll, even if it's worse than the original roll. Once a creature has suffered from your misfortune, it cannot be the target of that revelation again for one day. And then you've got fortune, which, you know, at fifth level, as an immediate action, you can reroll any d20 roll that you have just made before the results of the roll are revealed. You must take the result of the reroll, even if it's worse than the original roll. You can use this ability once per day at fifth, and one additional time per day for every sixth levels beyond fifth. So that's pretty solid. You know, you, you roll a two and you're like, nope, that's not going to pass, and you re roll it again. It works out pretty well. Uh, for the archetype, it says specifically that the recommended mysteries are any. So this dual cursed oracle would work pretty well with any of the mysteries that there are. Um, <laughs> so just, just. Be very calm and chill as you select which ones you're going to be going for because this dual cursed oracle can have some nasty side effects. You you may want to find out how long your game is going for and if you can deal with that haunted curse or or you know the the one where you always smell like bug poop. Uh, you know any of these just make sure you're prepared to live with this curse for a really long time because at least one of your curses is never going to get better. Um, ultimately, I wouldn't run this one, but I could see where someone else would. So, that's my thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed my content. Hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm putting out my newest video. Don't forget the most important thing you can do is tell me exactly how I'm wrong down in the comment section. I'm always happy to learn. I'm always happy to take in your thoughts and help mold it into something better. Yeah, thanks. You guys enjoy. Have a great day and keep gaming.